How long does a period last? The menstrual cycle, which is counted from the first day of one period to the first day of the next, isn't the same for every woman. Menstrual flow might occur every 21 to 35 days and last 2 to 7 days. For the first few years after menstruation begins, long cycles are common. However, menstrual cycles tend to shorten and become more regular as you age. What to do if periods are not stopping? In most cases, the cause is not known. Known causes of abnormal uterine bleeding include polyps, fibroids, endometriosis, medication, infection and some forms of contraception. Treatment can include medications, or dilatation and curatage D and C, to remove the uterine lining. What happens if you bleed more than 7 days? Menorrhagia is the medical term for menstrual bleeding lasting for longer than 7 days. About 1 in every 20 women has menorrhagia. Some of the bleeding can be very heavy, meaning you would change your tampon or pad after less than 2 hours. It can also mean you pass clots the size of a quarter or even larger. Can stress cause long periods? Stress can affect your menstrual cycle in pretty much every way possible. It can sometimes lead your period to stop altogether. But other times, it can make your period longer or heavier or lead to mid-cycle bleeding. What can affect the duration of a period? Several possible factors can affect the duration of a period. These include 1. Weight loss. Losing an excessive amount of weight can shorten the length of menstruation. Eating disorders, such as anorexia, may also contribute to shorter or even non-existent menstrual flow. 2. Exercise. Similarly, exercising excessively may reduce the length of menstruation. Menstrual cycle irregularities can have many different causes, including 1. Pregnancy or breastfeeding. A missed period can be an early sign of pregnancy. Breastfeeding typically delays the return of menstruation after pregnancy. 2. Polycystic ovary syndrome PCOS. Women with this common endocrine system disorder may have irregular periods as well as enlarged ovaries that contain small collections of fluid, called follicles, located in each ovary as seen during an ultrasound exam.